Here we are at Esri Park in the Keweenaw Peninsula of Michigan. We are looking at the Mid-Continent Rift. About 1.1 billion years ago, North America tried to split apart and pull apart and break in two. And this created what's called a Rift Valley. If you wanted to see Rift Valleys today, you could go to uh, New Mexico and see the Rio Grande Rift or Africa for the East African Rift. What happens when continents try to split apart a valley form? So we call it a Rift Valley. And this particular Rift Valley was very, very well developed and massive amounts of basaltic lava erupted out in the center of the Rift, which is out in the middle of Lake Superior today. And numerous lava flows, several kilometers thick of lava flows piled up out there. But eventually, that volcanic activity stopped and then we have these mountains, these highlands to the side of this rift valley, and those were eroding. And this eroded material would wash into the valley, forming what are called alluvial fans. You can drive around here and see a rock called the Copper Harbor Conglomerate that has all these big cobbles and boulders, and that's showing those alluvial fans that were created as the highlands surrounding the rift were weathered and eroded. But then, right at the end of the activity of the Mid-Continent Rift, these rocks that I'm standing on were erupted. These are called the Lakeshore Traps. These are kind of the last few lava flows erupted before activity in the rift stopped entirely. And these lava flows extend from a little bit that way all the way to the tip of the Keweenaw Peninsula and then even a little bit beyond towards uh, Manitou Island. And so what we're looking he at here is this last gasp of volcanism in this ancient rift system.